What's going on everybody? It's the Assassin. And today we're gonna put on a little sub cage 12 bar combo from, uh, of course, you know, Full Metal Stunts cause that is who I rep. Um, I'm gonna move this little mirror out of the way. I'm gonna put that on the handlebar here in a little bit. But, so we have the, you know, sub cage 12 bar combo. Um, oh, it is quite meaty if I do say so myself, but that's what you want. Uh, now it comes with, well, comes with the pegs and the sliders and, uh, the way he made these pegs, yeah, uh, your feet ain't going anywhere. <laughs> um, so it comes with the pegs, the sliders, some grip tape. Uh, I asked him what it was for, because I, I assumed it was for this, but I was like, nah, there's no way, because, you know, do you have, like, look, like, look at this. You don't need grip tape for that. <laughs> but, uh, no, he uh, said it was for... You know, whatever. You can put it on the pegs if you want, but it can put it on the foot plate, which is what this is. This goes like that, and you know, you have a foot plate. So, uh, this, uh, I know this is uh, extra for sure. This is a uh, titanium scrape block. I know this is extra for sure. I think this is extra, couldn't really remember. Um, but he does ask you when you're talking to him, uh, He'll ask you, do you want the block? Uh, do you want the block? And do you want the uh, foot plate? This is the mounting hardware for where your fender eliminator or, oh shit, I <laughs> almost dropped it, or regular, um, what do you call it? License plate holder goes. Uh, comes with all the hardware and comes with the uh, hardware for the uh, plate the foot plate and the uh, scrape plate. And what else is there to say? Um, the only thing I'm worried about is the license plate. And that's because uh, I do want to stay legal uh, while I'm on the street. But uh, it is what it is. I could figure something out. Probably I'll honestly just zip tie it to that right there, that little cross, that little cross member. It's probably what I'll end up doing. Um, hopefully the cops won't give me shit about it. But if they do, it is what it is. Uh, they'll probably be okay with it, but it's time to, uh, put it on the bike. Let me set up, uh, my phone, my phone real quick, uh, at an angle to where you can see me because, um, your boy's dumb and uses a phone to vlog and doesn't have a fucking tripod. So I'll be right back. Okay. So, uh, wanted to take my license plate off real quick just cause uh, I don't want you to see that. But, so what I need to do is um, take out the seats, take apart the, oh shit, little pin came loose. Well, whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, gotta take the uh, fairings, like, not really off, but kind of separate them so I can get to the uh, fender eliminator. And um, what else do I need to do? Yeah, oh, that's really it. Hopefully my idle adjuster isn't in the way. Oh shit, it's gonna be fuck. I knew I would have to do this. Uh, I'll just have to cut this off right here, my little zip tie. Um, but that's it. Should look good. Going with that. Oh wow, I did not crank these on here the last time I took them off. Same for the other side. So now we're gonna remove the, we're not gonna remove them, but we're gonna loosen up the fairings. Um, okay. Now I can take off the fender eliminator. This thing is heavy, by the way. Um, fucking chest mounted machine gun. Yeah, this thing is fucking heavy. This thing is no joke. I thought this was heavy when I was putting this on. Not literally heavy, but like, like this thing's meaty, bro. Like more meaty than this. Probably both of those. This feels way more meaty. Now, 
Actually, before I put this on, I'm gonna put that founding bracket on. So I can see how this is gonna go. I just want you to see how big this fucking bolt is for the middle. Look at this. See how fucking huge this thing is? Yeah, this is not coming out. I want to show off Full Metal Sun's new design because he, because right before I bought this, he had the old design where um, this would like come up to an, an angle. And I won't lie, Mr. Sun's, if you're watching this, I didn't like it. I was still going to buy it either way, but I wasn't going to be happy about that one thing. But then he was like, yo, since you're buying this, uh, I came up with a new design, rounded it off, and then if you want the scrape plate or foot plate or both, whatever, uh, I gotta weld this little piece on. When he told me that, I was so happy <laughs> because I already know this little round piece. He showed, he showed me a picture, it like hugs the tail better and uh, it looks a whole lot better. So, ugh. Full metal stunts. I love your products. I didn't like that one thing. But now, 100% happy with this. Thank you. So, uh, you can tell this is slightly off center. The, this part, the, um, how do I want to word this? This hole is closer to this top part, which will go towards the front of the bike. Not too sure what this is. Try. Must be way easier if I had a thing in your pocket. I mean, I do. I just, I just don't know where it's at. <laughs> uh, of course, I don't know where the fuck the 10 millimeters at. Because why the fuck would I? Uh, I'll let anybody know where the fucking 10 millimeters at. <laughs> I'm gonna look for it. I'm not doing it like that. Look at that. Okay. Um, now that that is in there and it seems like it's not going anywhere. Um, okay, tail is put together. Now let's put Oh, big old boy on. Um, well, that's gonna look fucking sick. Now, um, also, he gives you the option of going with uh, lower, um, what do you call it? Lower pegs, which is what I did because. Um, six foot and I kind of have long legs and this is why it's all about figuring stuff out so that right there oh god don't focus on my finger that right there put that big ass bolt in first because it looks like it'll make putting all of this in all the peg stuff way easier kind of yep 24 Tighten this big ass boy. Oh, fuck it up. 
Okay. I'm gonna do one side, not one side. But one thing at a time. Okay, I'm gonna take you away from the uh, sitting view over there. But what you wanna do is, this is a little bit on my part trying to figure it out. But, uh, so you wanna put this, uh, this one in first and it'll kind of like line, line everything up. And then I, for me, uh, doing the left side first was easier. Uh, they're not all the way fully torqued down yet, but they will be, I just wanted to, kind of mock it up just so you could see it but yeah so do this first this is for me uh for you it might be a little different it's pretty easy um do this first then do for me it was the left side and now i'm on the right side but i'll go ahead and torque everything down with y'all here now do you want to and get it all situated. Ugh. It's a little tough once you start getting in close. That one's on all the way. That one's on all the way. Okay. Um, I won't lie. This left side I'm having just a slight issue with with it lining up but oh shit what the hell did i just sit on <laughs> fucking exhaust that was a lot closer than i thought it was let's go ahead turn this bad boy back on Okay, people, let's finish this installation. Had a little bit of a um, alignment issue, uh, got it worked. So um, obviously you have your two, uh, what do you call it? Rear uh, foot peg um, bolts on either side. And like I said, do this one first. For me, do this one first uh, helps it all. Um, but I mean, it doesn't bother me too much. The only one that bothered me was this one right there. The front left one was a little tough to get in, but this back left one and the two on the right side went in perfectly fine. But it is what it is. I'm okay with it. So, uh, cause I'm okay with it because uh, it ain't going nowhere, bro. This ain't coming off. So get this going. Just say it's not going anywhere. 
after this, I am damn sure getting some fucking food because holy shit, I'm fucking hungry, bro. grip it here is because you don't want to overdo it like tug there tug there that foot plate's actually pretty low profile I didn't think it would be but and then fuck this grip tape I can just fucking like put it here and then have something to grip on too so yeah, thank you all for watching uh, Full Metal Stunts. Thank you for the awesome sub cage, the awesome crash cage. By the way, uh, I'm gonna link that one in the description. Um, yeah, just thank you for the support overall. Like I said, guys, um, don't be scared to message him. Um, like you're gonna have to message him either way to buy one of these. But if you have a problem, just talk to him. Like I said, I had a, a slight problem with this bolt here, but I messaged him real quick. He gave me a quick fix. No big deal. Everything else lined up perfectly fine. And uh, <laughs> as you can tell, it's not going anywhere. So yeah, everything turned out great. Yeah, if I can start with my balance. So um, yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Again, Full Metal Stuffs. Thank you for the awesome, uh, customer service, I guess you would say, and they're awesome cages, and uh, yeah, so next thing to do on this bike is to get a new sprocket set up, and then a handbrake set up, and then stunt seats, and a tank, and that's actually a lot more than I thought it would be, holy shit, the sprocket and the seats will probably be the next thing to do, because those will be the cheapest, and then the tank and the handbrake. Handbrake is gonna be the last thing I do because I wanna master that foot brake. Get that uh, street cred, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, enough for rambling. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a beautiful night, day, afternoon, whatever it is. Thank y'all.